Putin, Xi, and UNSG gutters will all participate in a virtual summit to discuss the conflict between Israel and Hamas. Tuesday will see a virtual meeting of the BRICS group of developing nation leaders regarding the Israel-Hamas conflict, including Russian President Vladimir Putin, Chinese President Xi Jinping, and others. Based in Cape Town, South Africa, on Tuesday, heads of state from the BRICS group of developing nations, including Russia's Vladimir Putin and China's Xi Jinping, will convene virtually to discuss the Israel-Hamas conflict. Also in attendance will be Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the UN. According to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's office, the event will be attended by the heads of state from all five BRICS countries, India, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, and the United Arab Emirates, which is set to join the bloc in January. The extraordinary meeting will be chaired by Ramaphosa, according to his office, due to South Africa's status as the current chair of BRICS. The leaders are said to be planning to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza with statements, and it is anticipated that they will likely issue a joint statement. Meeting with the foreign ministers of Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, and the Palestinian Authority took place the day after China's top diplomat welcomed them to Beijing their first stop on a tour of the United Nations Security Council permanent members. The meeting highlighted the increasing geopolitical influence of China and its long-standing support for the Palestinians. Despite taking a more measured stance toward the Israel-Hamas conflict, Russia is still in a position to strengthen its position as a world power broker. Putin has spoken out against the Hamas attacks on southern Israeli towns on October 7, which led to Israel's offensive in Gaza. The Palestinian Health Ministry in the West Bank reports that over 12,700 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza. Additional 4,000 people are reportedly missing, according to officials there. Putin, however, has cautioned Israel not to blockade the Gaza Strip and has expressed concern over Israel's response. The BRICS group, which includes Russia and China among its prominent members, has positioned itself as an opposition to what is seen as the West's hegemony in international affairs. Unfortunately, the group's five present members have such divergent agendas that it has failed on multiple occasions to establish unified policies or stances. For a long time, India has maintained close ties to both Israel and the Palestinians, and the country aspires to be recognized as a developing world leader. South Africa has asked the International Criminal Court to look into allegations of war crimes by Israel in relation to the conflict in Gaza, and it has been extremely critical of Israel throughout the conflict. For a long time, South Africans have drawn parallels between the apartheid system of racial segregation and Israel's actions in the West Bank and Gaza. A motion to close the Israeli embassy and cut relations with the country due to the war will be put to a vote by South Africa's parliament on Tuesday. In order to have talks, Israel summoned its ambassador to South Africa on Monday. At a roundtable meeting at the Diaoutai State Guesthouse in Beijing, Saudi Arabia's Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi, and their Arab and Islamic counterparts listened.